JavaScript's openness and flexibility is one of the things I love about the language. However, there are times when you may want to create an object and not allow that object to be changed. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about freezing an object. Welcome to another tutorial from All Things JavaScript, where we help bridge the gap between novice and expert. All JavaScript objects are mutable, meaning they can be changed. That flexibility is one of the powerful things about JavaScript. However, sometimes you can make your code more robust by creating an object that cannot be changed. For example, perhaps you use an object to keep track of data that remains constant and needs to remain constant. In a case like that, you would want to freeze the object to prevent it from being changed. Another common application is in functional programming. Using a functional programming paradigm, you want to avoid mutating data. Let's look at an example of how to freeze an object. Now here I've already set up an object. I've placed it in a variable course info. It contains information about the course. This is information that I don't want to have changed. But let's first look at what we can do to an object when it's not frozen. Now this should be pretty standard type of thing you're aware of. So if we first display the object, we can see all the information about that object. And then of course, I can change information about that. I can update the questions, indicate there's 11. So when I display it again, shows there is 11. I can also delete properties from that object. So if I use the delete operator and remove possible score, then the next time I display it, poss possible score is not there. So obviously we can change information about an object. Well, let's look at how we would prevent that from happening. We use the object.freeze method to do that. Now, when you use object.freeze on an object, this is what it will do to that object. It basically makes it so no new properties can be added. It also prevents existing properties from being changed or deleted. And the values of those properties cannot be changed. So that's what happens when you freeze an object. So let's go ahead and freeze this object. You use the object.freeze static method to do that. And basically what it does is it takes an object as a parameter and then returns that same object in a frozen state. And so I'm going to assign this to the same variable, but I am going to change my var to const because I don't want it to be reassigned either. Not only do I want this object to be frozen, I don't want it to be reassigned. So I'm going to use const for that. And then I can use object.freeze like this. And then inside of parentheses, I place that object. So I put the closing parentheses down here. And so this object that I've created using literal syntax is now inside those parentheses. So now I can go ahead and save that. All right, so let's assume that at some point later in the code or someone else that's working on this project wants to change it. So let's do course info dot questions, set that equal to 11. Now let's go ahead and refresh this page. Notice it generates an error. Cannot assign to read only property questions. It indicates that the property is now read only. That's what freeze does to it, is it makes it read only. Now, let me make one simple change here to show you something. I'm going to comment out the use strict. Save that again, refresh. Notice we don't get the error. However, if we look at course info, we can see it was not changed. So it doesn't display an error when someone tries to change that object if you do not have use strict as a part of your code. When I'm working with frozen objects, I think it's a good idea to include that as a part of your code. 
so that somebody receives a message if they do try to make a change. So we're not able to change the values. How about adding a new property? See if we can do that. We'll try to add an end page property to this. Save that. Now if we refresh, still get an error. Cannot add property end page. Object is not extensible. So when you freeze an object, it makes it so it's not extensible, meaning you can't add additional properties to that object. Now let's see if we can delete a property. We'll try to delete possible score. Save that. Cannot delete property possible score. So we get an error for that as well. So it's preventing us from doing any of those changes. Now, it may be helpful when you have a frozen object to be able to find out if that object is frozen. And there is a way to do that. Let me just show you that really quick. If I do object.is frozen, it's another static method. And inside of parentheses, I put the object. I can see that it returns true, indicating that the object is frozen. And therefore, I'm not able to change anything about it. So this is how you would set up an object that you don't want changed, that you want to be frozen. Use object.freeze to do that. Now remember, this applies to any JavaScript object. This can be an array. This can be a function that you freeze. If you have an object of that type that you want frozen for some reason, it applies to those. And as a very helpful technique, if you have some data that you don't want changed. Now, before we're done here, please hit the like button. It can help others find this tutorial. If you would like to become a patron of this channel, I would appreciate the support. You can follow a link in the description and you can also contribute by visiting my website. If you want to dive deeply into JavaScript, I've provided discount links to all my courses in the description section as well. If you haven't subscribed yet, you can hit that button or click the circle link on the left, the one with my face. I release a new tutorial each week. You can also click the video link in the center to access another tutorial right away or click the link on the right to visit my website, allthingsjavascript.com, for a complete list of tutorials and other resources. Thanks for watching.